Okay, y'all want me to show you how to draw another kind of hummingbird? Well, you remember the one that I did that was the Lone Star and it had a hummingbird in the middle. Now that one was a three by three. We're gonna do a two by two today. And this is a, another pattern that you could use, uh, another hummingbird pattern. And you can make it in any color that you wanna make it in. Now, I've made it in purple, I've made it in red, uh, pink, I did pink, and blue. And you can see where, let me show you this, this picture. You can see this picture, the flower is contained more in the center. And on the edges you have some petals. And so here is the same thing, but I used pinks, different shades of pinks. Here's another one that you, you could do it this way, but it, uh, I really didn't like the way it turned out. That, that was my first one. And then I think I just showed you that purple one. But the one we're going to do today is a little bit different pattern, and I, I kind of liked it better. Which way? I'll see. This way. <laughs> Sorry. A bird was flying. He must have had something to drink. All right. This, I'm going to do it a little bit different because I liked color in it instead of so much white so i i've painted in some of the other places to create a bigger flower and i really like that and better so that's the one that we're gonna do now hang in there with me for a minute and i'll draw the grid line out and that flower won't take but a minute and we'll spend more time on the bird which you'll be surprised you I've got a, I've got a trick for you on that bird as well. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I I need eight blocks. I've got a 24 inch piece of paper here, and that's the size of my board that I'm going to be using. So. I got, I got to have eight blocks and 24 inch board, so all my blocks are going to be three inches wide. So all I'm going to do is make a tick mark at three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, and twenty-one. So just every three, every three inches, just make a tick mark, and we're going to go all the way around, and then we're going to connect our tick marks together and we'll have our grid. Okay, so we've got our grid line, and now I'm starting to draw the pattern. And the camera cut off, so I'm, I'm going to start again. So I've got eight blocks over and eight blocks up. And we're going to, sometimes we'll do one block at a time. You know, most of the time that's the way I like doing it. 
But for this one, this particular one, sometimes it's just easier to go, it's easier to draw your pattern using two blocks or four blocks or whatever at a time. But it's still a grid and it's still blocked off. So for our first line that we made, count over one, two, and at the, at the right hand side of that second block, I want you to cover, draw a line up to the top of the second block. So, first, second block over, first line, second block, draw over, draw up two. See that? And we're drawing the, we're drawing the flower now. We're drawing, we're drawing this part. To get, kind of give you an idea of what we're drawing. We're drawing the outline of that flower. So we went to, let's go up to the second block. And we're going to take from the bottom of, or the top of that sec, second row, first block. At the top, we're drawing all the way over to number six. No, no, we're drawing all the way over to the end. There you go. So we're going to uh, that the top of that second row all the way across. All right, now let's count over. We're going to start drawing some flower petals. We're going to count over four. One, two, three, four. So we're right in the center of our board, right? We're going to, from there, we're going back down to this line that we drew. Now let's Let's count over, well, let's go from this side, it'll be easier. One, two, the second one from the right side of your board. We're gonna draw that line all the way up. That's part of the pattern, drawing it all the way up. So in other words, leave these two blank and draw your line all the way from the top to the bottom. Once you get that done, let's go back down here and we're going to use that tick mark again that we just made or the top of that block that we were just at and we're drawing another one, another line crossing two blocks. Now we're going to do the same thing up here. We're going to go to the, the, the second row all the way over to the end and put your tick mark and then count up one, two and go to the middle of that section. You see that? So it would be the end of your second row and it would be the sixth block up on the fourth row at the top. So it's really the middle of your board and you want to make sure you intersect those lines so it's really the middle of your board against this line that we just drew. Now we're going to do that over here. We're going to count down two and from that corner we're going back to the middle. Alright, and now let's look at this line. See this line? You see that? We're at the 
six line all the way over to the right. The six row, I mean, all the way over to the right. Now we need to draw our pattern and that's going to cover four blocks. So it's going to be from the end all the way to the center of your board. And we're going to draw that last petal, the last outside petal, by going to that line that we just finished and go up to the next to the uh, last block at the top. All right, now, no, that wasn't the last petal. This is the last petal. So we need to go, let, see this line here? The first one that we drew? Let's just follow it up. So you could have just started here and went all the way up to the fourth one. And all we're going to do now is connect those, and that made that last petal. So you look like you've got a star here, right? But now let's go, let's go back up to this one. Next, uh, the sixth row, over to the fourth block. We're going to draw a line down. We, and now we're, we're drawing the rest of the flower now. So go over fourth row up, second row, se fourth row up, second block. And we're going to do the same thing as we did here. We're just following our grid line and drawing a line. Now, let's go start in the center here and go block by block. So this first block, we won't have anything. The second block, we will have this section that was the grid line. And we're going to, we're starting to draw our flower now. And I drew that just so you'd see that was part of the flower petal. And we're going to, we've got that one. The next, the next block, we're just going to go from that, the top of that block to the bottom right. And then, so that we can stay on track, here is the, here's the part of that leaf, or that petal. Alright, then we're going to go draw a line here so that we can continue on with our flower. But let's go back here, let's start back here again. So here we are, we got the first, first row within our uh, smaller part of the flower here. These are your big petals. Alright, next row up here, we need a line. And I'll go ahead and put one here so that you can see that that's a petal. And then... This is part of the petal, but we need a line so we drew that one from the bottom left to the top right. Now we're going from the top right to the bottom, top left to the bottom right. And let's go ahead and make another diagonal line in the next block. 
and we'll make a, one from the top to the bottom in the fourth block. So one, two, three, four. And again, this, this is going to be part of your pattern. It's the grid line, but it's part of the pattern as well. So we're going to go up here now. So we don't have anything in the, right in here. But on the fourth block, fifth row, we're going to connect these, these lines here just by drawing a diagonal line through there. And then on the next block, we're going to connect these. So we're just drawing a line from the top down. And on the next block, we need another diagonal line going the other way. So you've got it down, then up. All right, now let's not concern with that, but go back here. We're on the sixth row, fifth block. We drew a diagonal line there. This is part of the pattern. And this is part of the pattern. So these are going to be solid blocks here. But in here, we're going to have different colors. I probably need to draw that all the way down there. So you can see it. So that is the flower pattern. This is going to be yellow. You're going to need four shades of blue or purple or red or pink because this is this one is going to be light. So this one is a light. This one is a medium, and that one's a little bit darker, and then this one's going to be the very darkest. So you can see how it comes out from the, from the middle of your flower out. And then this part is the middle of your flower. That's where the hummingbird's going to stick his beak. Now, for the hummingbird. Now this is how I taught it to the class. And, and I think it'll work for you guys. Let me show you. Two ways. And it comes out right. But, you see this? Can you see those lines? I marked that off in one inch squares, just in here. So you would go from the top, from the top of the, here's your yellow, here's your yellow center of your flower. So at the top of that, all the way over four blocks, and then three blocks up. And you would divide that into one inch squares. And you could take a screenshot of that. And you can go directly by that and get that hummingbird in there. And just remember his beak needs to come down. You can start his beak anywhere along there. Now this is a ruby-throated hummingbird, so you always put that part red. But you can put the colors that you want. And that's, I think that's supposed to have been, I got this pattern from someplace, I don't remember, but I think that was supposed to have been another part of a wing. And I left that off. I, I didn't care for it. But here is the one that I ended up with. Now for the class, I made a cheat sheet. 
I took some stencil maker. Now you could do it with the Cricut. I didn't have Cricut then. I just had Michaels. <laughs> and so I just drew it out. Once I had it kinda, once I did it this way, the hard way, I laid the stencil on top of it and drew it out. And I cut that out and I had about five or six of them and they passed it around in the class. But all I did then, this might look kind of weird, but I'm going to use something different to write with. So what I did when I got it cut out, and you can make you a pattern off of this one, I got the wing, see, it's tail feather, I mean, and I stuck it right in the corner up here. Then I lined that little wing up. So you see the way I've got it in here. I've lined it up at the top. So, so there's no part sticking off of your board. Now, you can take that down if you wanted to. But I took my heat of erasable pen And I went, sorry. And I just went all the way around it. So I've got my hummingbird. Now quilters use patterns, so I don't think that's cheating. And I can't do freehand stuff. So now to get to get these little areas here. You have the top of his little head. And see that angle right there? that corner I'm just going to the next block and then we're going to mark that one off because that's part of him so ours is a little face and ours is a little head so we're going to go into that that corner of his wing and just go straight down. No. Drop down an inch. I'm sorry. Into that corner. Drop down an inch and go all the way down. And then you might have to slow this down a little bit. But we're going to make line there. We're going to go from that part of that wing again and go down this way and we're going to line this one up with that corner and we're going to draw another line here and I think that's got him, except for his beak. Now see, we said this was his yellow, the yellow flower. Now here, this little corner right in here is going to be his beak. So we can take it down as far as we want to inside that flower. And that would be like a dark, dark green color. Now, you can also, this, this is going to be red. But if you wanted to make another little bit of red, you could, you could make that part red. Just draw your line right there. 
and make that part red too, just to have a little bit more red on him right in his throat. All right, let's do it again. Over on the right side of your paper, the second block to the left, the top left, make a tick mark. Second row, first block, top left, make a tick mark. And all we're going to do is draw it down to the corner. And then we're going to draw a line in the middle of it and divide the leaf. That's the same way I did this one, but the camera cut off. I'm not sure if that got on there or not. All right, for, for this particular leaf, we're just going to go, that's the fourth row. No, fourth block over on the first row, top left. And then four, five, fifth row, fifth block over, top right, and make a tick mark. And then we're just going to draw it down to the bottom. And then we're going to divide this one in half so that we can have two shades. Alright, and we're going to do this in the same way. You see where I'm putting my tick marks at? Right at the top of those blocks. Instead of doing all that counting. And then, it's just right in the middle of these, this triangle here. And then, turn it around. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to this, this block and this block. And we're going to divide it in half. Let's get that one divided in half before I forget it. Whoa! Pen went crazy. I don't have my board down. I just got this. I'm working on this rough surface. This used to be a big old... Uh, the guy that built this house had tractors and stuff down in here in this basement. So... This is a like a big old workbench, and it had all kind of stuff on it, and I couldn't sand it, so I just painted it and made it look good, but it's rough, <laughs> and it works, so it's all right. Okay, so take the snapshot of this, and I'll be right back to show you the finished Barn felt, I'm almost done. Okay, we're coming down to the end. We've got our flower painted, our leaves painted. I've got the hummingbird up there. And I used... Um, silver bullet for the my background because I didn't want it to be like a bright white but I didn't want to darken it down either because these are enough dark colors so I use silver bullet and when I get all that taped up I'm going to paint this silver bullet and we're going to call this hummingbird ready to fly all right I'll be back okay look We've got the hummingbird finished. Let me show you the colors just in case I haven't done that already. Because I changed it a couple of times on you. I think. So, anyway. For the leaves, I used Vegas Green and Luscious Leaves. Because I like two different colors here. And then for this blue, I used uh, Precious Sapphire. 
I clean up my bottles, don't I? And then for the next blue, I used Precious Sapphire with a little bit of aerial view in it. I just wanted it to lighten up just a little bit. Not too much, but just a different shade of blue to make it look like it was just kind of all going into the center. Alright, for this blue, I used North Holland blue. And for the the blue around the center of the flower, I used Cameo blue. But you don't have to use these. You can use different shades of purple. You can use different shades of red, orange, whatever if your favorite color of flower is. Alright, then for... Um, Let's see the let's do the hummingbird. His tail is laser. It's kind of a bright green. And then his beak, the top of his head, that little spot right here between his wing and his body, and that part of his tail is favorite green. It's a really dark green. Again, you can make yours whimsical. You could put blues and pinks and whatever. But this is just the colors I chose. Alright, then his head and this part of his wing and body is Lime Passion. This part here is Vegas Green. The top part, top wing here is luscious green, and then that's it. That's our bird. Oh, and his little this is a ruby throated hummingbird. So I used fabulous red, and for I think I already told you for the outside. I used Silver Bullet. I didn't want white, but I didn't want dark gray. Um, or uh, you could use off white too, that would have been fine. But mine is a Silver Bullet, which has just got a gray tint to it. So there it is. Let me get the pattern one more time. Take a screenshot of that. And then here's the pattern. You probably already took a screenshot of it. All right. Got them all finished up. This one, let's see. You should see this one on March 24th so hopefully after that I'll be back to filming again but go ahead and ask questions and leave comments because I'll you know I'll feel all right um, the surgeries tomorrow I'm filming this um, March the 1st so that my surgeries tomorrow and then so the next day or so I'll feel all right and I can answer questions. So by the time you see this, I'll, I, sh I should be like back to my old aggravating self again. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next video. Hope you subscribe and all that stuff.